Welcome my friends, we have Town Hall 8 attacks. I haven't brought you a video in a long time on Town Hall 8s, so let's break it down. Now, strategizing at the Town Hall 8 level, you usually see dragons or uh, uh, hogs, uh, kind of a go-ho, we kind of action. So this is the first attack using hogs. I mean, such hogs using dragons. Now, when you're dealing with dragon bases, I did a bunch of videos on how to uh, plan a town of late dragon base. Uh, you want to make sure your storages are within range of your air defenses. For instance, just barely that one is missing uh, of that dark elixir, but on this one, the dark elixir is in range. I would actually restructure this base a little bit. Um, it could actually use a little increased buff uh, uh, because some of the, the, the defensive units are grouped together. So what that means is those air defenses, the dragons are actually going to path to the air defenses quicker um, than you want. Of course, you attack um, <laughs> opposite into or against sorry not against but into that air sweeper of course he's creating the funnel some people like to use two dragons on the ends one i think on this attack you could have used one dragon on either side and made the bulk of the attack in the core uh but this worked out anyways of course loons in the clan castle a little too early on those loons uh, the, the the dragons did not tank for them quite enough to kind of caught out there alone, but they did take care of those air defenses, which are the key. Uh, so I you know can't blame them there for that. Uh, but again, at the Town Hall 8 level, your options are pretty limited. Most of still attackers are using dragons. They are beasts, especially because most people don't know how to. Uh, have a dragon base layout. This is not the best one as I said before. I'll link some vid videos kind of preparing and defending against dragons how to do that. As you can tell this this map, I mean this raid is over. I mean total three star destruction. He can't do anything about it. Nothing's gonna stop these dragons at all. Great attack dark underlord for that three star attack. That's how you funnel dragons. I love dragons. Dragons are my favorite and they're non-existent in the game at the upper levels. Very sad to see. So let me show you the other Town Hall 8 attack. This is a difficult base. Maxed out pretty much except for the walls. The, the defenses are that and he three stars it. So in this attack, what do you look for? How do you figure out what to do? Now, I suggest Let's pause it down. I suggest using the trying to um, put the clan castle in the core where it can't be lured. The reason is most Town Hall 8 attackers are not the greatest. They're trying, they're still learning the game. Of course, you know, you've had some nice ones here, but a lot of them aren't. So you play odds, guys. You, you, it's a risk reward scenario. You're playing against the odds or playing with the odds. And how you defeat these Town Hall 8 attacks and make sure, you know, making a Town Hall 9 dip to take out that Town Hall 8 is anti three star. Put that clan castle in the core. Make them um, work to lure that clan castle. Because if they don't, if you don't lure the clan castle, you know it, you know the raid will go, sh you know, fall short from the attackers because they don't know how to clear it, they don't know how to defeat it. On this one, though, of course, the clan castle was uh, put out towards the end, so by the time his main force came in, the uh, the dragon and loons were already taken out. So this is a very solid attack. Which one is better? It depends on the base layout. I would you could have done dragons on this um, easy peasy because those air defenses were all clumped together. Once the dragons got into the core of that base, it would have been over. Uh, so there is that. It was actually a good dragon defense base if you noticed. Um, nice spread, uh, except for the air defenses all clumped together. That's one thing. But again, look, he's got nothing to worry about here. Total mayhem, total destruction. His ho those hogs are doing so much work. The heal spell right there, and there's not much he can do. He's got this king. He's got his wizards still up and alive. Yes, the double giant bomb takes out those hogs. Oh, those are critical. Uh, so if you notice closely here, look at the double giant bombs. Uh, the giant bombs location. There aren't many places for them. So when you bring in the hogs, make sure you bring them in where there's no double giant bomb possibilities. Uh, and that way, <laughs> the three star will uh, go perfectly for you, and you cannot lose, my friends. You cannot lose. So I want to uh, do a play again, and I want to show you that um, what I'm talking about with the giant bomb. There's two, three possibilities. There's one to the west. There's one to the south, and there's one to the east. Those two open, those open compartments. You know the giant bombs are going to be there, without a doubt. 
It cannot be anywhere else. Uh, so it could be there, but I think it's not going to be in the south. I wouldn't do it in the south. I would have it near those um, storages as well, at least one set. Preferably to the east because you know they're going to come in from the clan castle side. But again, if you do that, that means the golems will trigger them. So reverse psychology, guys. Put the double giant bombs in the west, in the east. So he comes from the west, and yes, one giant bomb is triggered. You know. So now you put the hogs into the south, into the west, and then as they trickle in, you know, okay, the giant bombs are now in the east, and so they are. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. I, you know, appreciate it. Uh, there's just some tips about some Town Hall 8 strategy. We'll see you next time. Halo out.